All right, I'm Melissa, and I'm here with Christian again. We are going to break down the ultimate throws uh, into their uh, basic biomechanical uh, chain reaction uh, processes. And, uh, you know, it's a very complicated process, but, so we're going to simplify some things, but uh, I hope that this just uh, gives you a, um, some insight into more of the details of what's going on in your body uh, as your throws are happening. Yeah. Sure. Shall we begin with the backhand throw? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, cool. Um, in, in the backhand throw, it's it's very it's basically uh, the rotational pain that is that is happening during the whole movement. But every joint and every muscle within the body is actually loading in three planes. Uh, you have the the flexion and extension. You have the rotational plane, and you have the bending in the frontal plane. So it's always a combination of these three, but you know, back end obviously is more of a rotational plane uh, uh, throw, and uh, the upside down is more in, in the cervical plane and in flexion extension. So we re we we really want to to look from from the feet up that you can load and explode uh, and decelerate and accelerate uh, in these planes. So if you really want to throw a good backhand, you begin with, uh, with a, a pretty wide stance like this. Uh, and in, in the backswing, as we say, when you are going back and are going to throw, uh, just to doing this is a loading phase. That's a decelerating phase, where uh, a lot of things is gonna, uh, has to happen uh, below that. If you, if you want to look at the feet, uh, and and uh, as soon as the feet is, you know, and the load is on the ground and almost all of your uh, loading is on the left hip here, uh, it's gonna uh, go into an internal rotation. Okay. And yeah, and, and, and this means, you know, everything. Uh, the heel has to, to, to hit the ground and go outside the, the center, you know, it's gonna happen no matter... Okay, I'm going to reposition myself so yeah, I can okay, see. Sure. So we're talking about, so if I'm right-handed and I'm throwing a backhand, mm -hmm. so we're talking about the wind-up phase, we're having, we're having to, um, you have to uh, preload it one direction before you rip it the other. Yeah, so. exactly. And from the feet up. So, so when you're going to have the, the, all the load on your backswing leg mm -hmm. in the wind-up phase, as you can tell here, your hip and the, the femur here is in an internal rotation. And this actually fires the glutes up. Right, and just to make sure people know, so internally rotated, we're talking about uh, rotating the hips this way. Externally rotated would be this way. So if I'm internally rotated, like you were saying, with my foot, yeah. my heel then is um, so here is with its square, my toe is right ahead. Uh, if I'm internally rotated, my heel is kind of outside. Okay, so my heel is more pointing towards you than it is to. Uh, the other way. So now I'm internally rotated in the hip. Yeah, exactly. But but you really even even if you're internal rotated now, you really don't have to internal rotate your foot as, as much as you're doing. Right. Okay. Yeah. It can be like this, and if you rotate your pelvic like this, you're gonna increase the internal rotation in the hip as well. Right. So draw it from the pelvic more than from the foot. The internal rotation. Right. Okay. okay. And everything is internally rotated, you can bend a little bit in this knee, and now you're loading the glutes in the sagittal plane, mm -hmm. in the rotational plane, and also in the frontal plane, because we have all the loads on that hip, exactly. Right. And the more, the better the load is here, the more you can explode out from it, okay? Right. So it's going from an internal rotated position to um, here, external rotated position. Right. And that's actually the glutes function, external rotation in the hip, right? Yeah. But it's decelerating that movement as well. Right. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so again, internal rotation, external rotation, and that is why we have these uh, big muscles back back here, and that's where we get most of the power from uh, your big back hands. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the more, you, the more load you have on this leg, like in change of direction or in throwing, mm -hmm. the more load you will get in the transverse plane, you will get more flexion in the shadow plane, and you will also uh, have more a deduction in the frontal plane here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. And then, so then, what what happens after that? How does that uh, translate into yeah. the upper body? 
Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's like a rock, rock band that is actually just fires the whole body up. It's like, uh, you know, a, a contralateral wind-up. Uh, so, uh, if, if, if you're having a really good internal rotation here, you also need to have a, a even further rotation in the trunk. That's the next wind-up. So, if, if you're just uh, moving up uh, during the chain, you have the first one up here in the hip, the next one up is between the pelvis and the trunk. The more of a back, the more you can rotate back in the back swing relative to the pelvis, the more of a rotational twist you are getting and this is all your back muscles here that is firing up mm -hmm. and the, the scapular muscles here and it's the reaction of the external rotators of the shoulder as well that is actually here just, you know, fires up, they are like a rubber band, mm -hmm. ready to explode. Right. And if you do it in the back swing correctly, that's not going to be a problem to throw far, mm -hmm. because that's the only thing the muscle, you know, knows how to do. Right, so again, you're talking about with, uh, the, um, how do you explain? Uh, so, when you load, you load the muscle, then the, if you load them properly uh, in your wind-up, they will unload properly when you are, uh, when you are throwing the disc, does that sound like what you want to say? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's it's, yeah. it's low properly, right. uh, and it's everything is based in what how you can handle the load and the unload compared to the uh, gravity force. Mm -hmm. You know the the uh, gravity and the reaction force from the ground. Right. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thanks. Thank you.